almost every Wednesday, live to the Cultural Center downtown for our Dame Myra Hess Memorial Concert and your host, Mr. David Schwan. Thank you, Maggie. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Chicago Cultural Center for another Dame Myra Hess Memorial Concert broadcast. This free weekly series, inspired by concerts organized by Dame Myra Hess in World War II London, was started in Chicago in 1977 by Al Booth, founder of the International Music Foundation, and now is managed by the Foundation's Executive Director, Mark Riggleman. Today's concert is underwritten with generous grants from the Paul M. Angel Family Foundation, the Ann and Gordon Getty Foundation, the National Endowment for the Arts, and the Illinois Arts Council. And today's broadcast is sponsored in part by the Admiral at the Lake Senior Living Community. We have music for solo harp this afternoon. The harpist is Eleanor Kirk, featuring music by Scottish, French, and American composers. The program will begin with the Sonata No. 3 in C minor, Opus 2, by Sophia Dusek. That will be followed by a music by Lily Boulanger, transcribed for harp by Eleanor Kirk, Don Jordan Clare, music from 1914, Following the Boulanger, Music of Florence Price, also transcribed for harp by Eleanor Kirk. Sketches in Sepia, music from 1947. Following Florence Price's music, music by Marcel Grandjeunet, The Children's Hour, Opus 25. And the program will conclude with music by the contemporary composer Brandy Younger, Essence of Ruby. Here now is Eleanor Kirk Harp to begin our program with the Sonata No. 3 in C minor, Opus 2, by Sophia Dusek. Thank you. 
Sonata number no. three in C minor, opus two, by Sophia Dusek, composer born in Edinburgh, Scotland in 1775, died in London in 1831. That music opening our Day Myra Hess Memorial Concert Program for this afternoon. Eleanor Kirk, the harp soloist. Next, music by Lily Boulanger, transcribed for harp by Eleanor Kirk, originally a piece, part of three pieces for piano by Lily Boulanger. Don Jardin Claire, music from 1914. Here once again, harpist Eleanor Kirk. Music by Lily Boulanger, transcribed for harp by our soloist this afternoon, Eleanor Kirk, Don Jardin Claire, music from 1914, originally part of the three pieces for piano by Lily Boulanger, who of course was the sister of Nadia Boulanger, the famous teacher of composers such as Aaron Copland and uh, many, many American composers. Eleanor Kirk is our guest this afternoon at the Dame Myra Hess Memorial Concert. We're live from Chicago's Cultural Center on WFMT Chicago and WFMT.com. Also on our Facebook Live page. Thank you for joining us. David Schwann, your host for this afternoon's broadcast. Next, music by Florence Price, who spent the majority of her career here in Chicago and is known as the first female African-American composer to have a work performed by a major symphony orchestra, the Chicago Symphony, the performance taking place in 1933. Today we have music from 1947 by Florence Price, Sketches in Sepia, transcribed once again for harp by Eleanor Kirk, once again, our soloist. Thank you. 
Sketches in Sepia, music from 1947 by Florence Price, transcribed from the piano edition for harp by our soloist this afternoon, Eleanor Kirk, our guest at the Dame Myra Hess Memorial Concert. We are live from Chicago's Cultural Center on WFMT Chicago. Our next music comes from a French composer, Marcel Granjonet, who lived between 1891 and 1975. He studied at the Paris Conservatory and was a virtuoso harp player, also an organist and composer, came to the United States to head the harp department at the Juilliard School. We're going to hear his Children's Hour, Opus 25. Once again, harpist Eleanor Kirk.
Music by the French composer Marcel Grandjonnet. Children's Hour is Opus 25, music composed in 1947 and played for us this afternoon by harpist Eleanor Kirk, our guest at the Dame Myra Hess Memorial Concert. We're live from the Chicago Cultural Center on WFMT and WFMT.com. Also on our Facebook Live page. Thank you for checking in there. Our final music was composed in 2015, composed by the American contemporary composer Brandy Younger, born in 1983. The title of the piece was influenced and inspired by the jazz harpist Dorothy Ashby, her piece called Essence of Sapphire. We're going to hear Essence of Ruby by Brandy Younger. Eleanor Kirk, once again, on harp.
Essence of Ruby, music from 2016 by the American composer and harpist Brandy Younger, played for us this afternoon by harpist Eleanor Kirk, our guest this afternoon at the Dame Myra Hess Memorial Concert, where we are live from uh, the Cultural Center in Chicago. And we uh, just got word that uh, Brandy Younger has checked in, listening via the uh, Facebook page or via the web. Thank you very much for joining us. It's an honor to have you uh, with us and uh, an honor to hear your music as well. Thank you, Brandy. Eleanor Kirk serves as principal harpist with both the Illinois Symphony and the Civic Orchestra of Chicago. She has uh, appeared with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, the Charleston Symphony, the Fort Wayne Philharmonic, also involved with the Ring Cycle at Lyric Opera of Chicago, and uh, recently toured the Midwest with the Chicago Harp Quartet, also a founding member of the Fifth Wave Collective, a Chicago-based classical music ensemble dedicated to the performance and promotion of music by women. Glad to have Eleanor with us today. Also, thank you for checking in on our Facebook page. We heard from not only Illinois and the Midwest, but uh, from around the uh, country. Uh, the East Coast, specifically, Massachusetts, Maine, as well as Florida. Thank you once again. We hope you've enjoyed today's Day Myra Hess Memorial Concert, presented live from Chicago's Cultural Center on Michigan Avenue at Washington Street. Please join us once again next week at this time for another free concert by tuning in Classical WFMT, also on our Facebook page. Musicians' accommodations provided by the Union League Club of Chicago and for upcoming Dame Myra Hess artists and programs, please go to the IMF website at imfchicago.org. Today's broadcast was sponsored in part by the Admiral at the Lake Senior Living Community. Our engineer is Mary Mazurik, and this is David Schwan, your host for these broadcasts. Thanks once again for joining us. Have a good afternoon and goodbye for now from the Chicago Cultural Center.